The afternoon sessions at COFES are what we refer to as the Congresses. Uh, and uh, in the early days, we had uh, two different conversations. Um, uh, but more recently, the last 10 years, we have been uh, using the first Congress time slot rather than a conversation uh, as an idea starter. And we have this concept called Mayutic Parataxis. It's a funny name. Uh, Mayutic means the midwifery of knowledge, and Parataxis is the juxtaposition of ideas without any connection or conjunction. In other words, it's a, a number of five-minute presentations, each of which has a single idea, uh, an idea of which could shape your thinking about what you are doing going forward. We have done 75 of these. We have 10 very significant uh, presentations for you today. And so at, uh, after 10 years, we will have 85 available. They will be, all of them are uh, currently up on the uh, COFES website at cofes.com slash MP. And with that, I'd like to introduce Nathaniel Miller, who's taken charge of the uh, Mayuti Parataxis presentation, and Nathaniel and Jason. Thanks. You gotta turn it on. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Jason. Uh, so, uh, Mayutic Parataxis has uh, uh, grown, and we really have a scouting charter for the Congress on the Future of Engineering Software. A and we're kind of looking out around the bend and working to, you can see the bend. We're looking what we think is right around the bend. And, uh, and, so, and so we realized that charter and to do about it since. And so I wanted to just take a moment to lay out uh, some of the changes that we've been undergoing over the year of 2017 that will continue to grow into 2018. Uh, so, so first off, it was uh, Brad and I working this. We've had a few people come and go in and out, different places here and there. A um, lot of students, a lot of help from all of you. Um, the biggest change that we brought this year was Jason Preston. Jason runs an event that uh, looks at what it means to put a dent in the universe. And uh, he's been bringing a perspective of, of showing uh, impact in a format similar to Mayutic Parataxis. Uh, the other thing that we did was we brought in a REACH team. A and a REACH team is uh, a group that, that we are able to leverage to gain efficiency uh, in making the contact, uh, we were losing something like 80% of our contacts. Um, you know, we'd spend a long time in this, in this identify, prioritize, approve, and then contact, correspond, decline, if we ever even got past connect. And so, uh, so, so, uh, Mark, Hal so would you stand up those on the screen? Mark Halpern, Steve Wolf, Mark Burhop, uh, if you're here, uh, Richard Marshall, Ferris Noel, John Hirschdick. Also spelled wrong. My sincere apologies. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for the help. We'll get your name right next time. <laughs> um, so so these these uh, these individuals helped us out, but they gave us not just uh, the contact to pull some of our speakers in, but they also gave us the perspective of where is the future going. And so and so at this time the 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 understanding of a uh, perspective garnered from the community here is really valuable. And then Nathan Gall, would you stand up? Because there's one other really key individual. Where we moved our intern work. Uh, Nathan built two satellites with me uh, last summer in the summer before at uh, NASA Langley Research Center and uh, was really doing the pure grunt work um, to sort of do the data. So thanks, Nathan, for your help. There's one more thing before we leave this slide, which is that the wealth of understanding and the best assessment of where the future of engineering software lies resides in this room. And uh, the perspective that you have may be brought to bear on who shows up here next year. If you would like to have your name added to that list, it's a light touch involvement uh, and it's a correspondence communication that helps us both on where the future is and also really just kind of lightening the load to bring the quality of the speakers you have in front of you today. 
uh, see me, Brad, or Jason Preston after the event, and we'll keep your information and make sure that we follow up with you. So, so with that, we have to take a look at where the future is, right? So, so, so we kind of see COFES growing. I, I'm 32 years old. I've been. This is my 17th COFES. So, so we're not quite at half my lifetime watching this community affect the world. And, and so, this is our analysis of looking at how this community has shaped the world, and and it starts solidly in computer aided design. Design is interesting because it's mostly about geometry. But as soon as you have geometry, you want to make it. You want to develop it. You want to understand the life cycle and the sustainability. And so now we have the DAS symposium, where we're thinking about sustainability on a global scale. But that's only the one direction. The other direction, all models are wrong. Some are useful. This is just a model, so we can, we can improve it as we go, uh, is, is in the engineering direction. And then model-based design. And then models-based system design. And then adding intelligence, machine learning, et cetera, to generative design and those elements. But we didn't stop there. So when you start to think about this community, you have to realize that the, oh, and this is the assess initiative, right? But what we have done here effectively in this community has made it so that those design tools talk together. But there's another breakout where we're headed, which is to make the connectivity between the domains interoperate as well. And then there's other things. And if you want to add to this list, Jason, me, or Brad, or Nathan, give us what belongs on that list as well. And help us understand where in that cycle, where, is this, wh where are we in the hype cycle on these new, new, t new things that are coming along? Jason? Thanks. Don't, by the way, don't give me anything too technical. That's this, those two <laughs> for that list. So um, this is my first COFES. About a little more than six months ago, Brad tracked me down, cornered me in a hipster Mexican restaurant in Seattle. And he said, Jason, I want you to help with Mayutic Parataxis. And I said, I think they sell a cream for that at Rite Aid. <laughs> 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 but, but he talked me into it. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been really cool to dig into these concepts and look through and see, uh, you know, what to really feel what meiotic parataxis is. As Brad explained it traditionally, it has been this uh, this exploration of a single idea, a, a world-changing idea in five minutes. And Nathan also brought something to the table this year that was Nathaniel. Sorry, I shortened it. Uh, you got a name wrong. I have to get a name wrong. Um, Nathaniel's interesting because he's brilliant, but often there's a bit of word salad involved when you're talking about something with him, a new concept, he's working through it. And so I'm, I'm kind of getting used to that. And we were talking about how we were going to talk about this new aspect of mutic parataxis this year. We have this room full of people, these people who build, you all, who build these amazing software tools and have this opportunity to bring that expertise to bear on these problems that are coming up in the future. And we're talking about it, and Nathaniel turns around to me, this is like 20 minutes ago, he says, Jason, it's a look ahead to the kinds of problems engineering software will be able to solve in the near future without skipping a beat. And I'm like, okay, say that. <laughs> so I just quoted him to explain it. But the cool thing is over the next, let's see, 10 talks, so 50 minutes, you guys are going to get a series of world-changing ideas. They're going to blow your mind. And the cool thing is that you're going to get them in five minutes, but the weird thing is that because you're getting them in five minutes, you might, they might not strike you at the moment you hear them. It might blow your mind while you're on the bus on the way out to the party tonight. It might blow your mind. You might wake up at 2 a.m. and go, of course. It might be two weeks from now. But it's going to happen. And I've seen them. I just watched them all do run-throughs. They're going to be fantastic presentations. The ideas are fantastic. We've got awesome, awesome ideas for you. And with that, I would like to begin. Let's now have our first Meutic Parataxis.